Gumbel on behalf of the caucus. Uh, the other co-chairs, my colleague uh, from Maryland, uh, Roscoe Bartlett, I think he will be here uh, shortly. But the reason the uh, caucus has survived and thrived for so many years uh, is because it does bring members together on a bipartisan basis. Uh, and this expo uh, has been an annual event and really a very important part of it. Uh, you should know that during the rest of the year, we also hold briefings, including a major annual briefing. And every week, uh, members of the caucus uh, receive information uh, from the co-chairs and their staff about the latest developments uh, in the area of clean energy. So uh, lots of information coming in. To the extent that you have new information that you want to share with the caucus, uh, please do that. Uh, I want to join uh, Barry and also thank you Ken Gosong and the, uh, also the folks from the Senate Renewable Energy Caucus, but uh, with the Sustainable Energy Coalition, uh, as well as a lot of other caucuses in the House. There's a long list of other caucuses in the House that are very interested in uh, energy efficiency and clean energy, uh, and they've come together with us uh, to organize uh, this expo this year. So I do want to uh, thank them. I uh, also want to thank the members of the executive branch. We have some senior members of the executive branch uh, who in some of the rooms nearby uh, providing briefings. So uh, I'm grateful to them uh, for their help. Those are taking place in the Veterans Affairs Committee room uh, in 340, room 340 of this building. Uh, finally, let me just close uh, by saying that uh, all of you who are close observers of Congress know that we have lots of unfinished business uh, when it comes to clean energy and energy efficiency policy uh, measures. Uh, just one example uh, being the uh, production uh, tax credit, uh, which expired at the end of this year. And many of us are working very hard with many of you in this room uh, to try and get a majority of members in the House and Senate uh, to recognize the importance of extending that uh, and many other measures. Uh, but even though it sometimes seems that the work is going slowly here uh, when it comes to some of these important issues, uh, I am I, I am very uh, sort of gratified uh, that if you look at the longer expanse of time over the last couple of decades, uh, we have made incredible progress uh, in this country on energy efficiency, on renewable energy, uh, and that's really a tribute to all of you who are working every day uh, to try and uh, advanced policies at the state and local level, but for all of you especially, uh, who are out there putting American ingenuity uh, to work uh, through innovation and new products uh, that can help our, our country. So I salute all of you. Thank you for being here. And I see that my uh, colleague and friend from the state of Maryland, Roscoe Bartlett, has joined us. So let me turn it over to him. Roscoe? 